Because I wouldn't even know where to go in that direction. One of the things I would say to you is, you know, what we're talking about and the information on Alex Jones is, is, is someone needs to have a little place where someone can go, you know, I know you're into Alex Jones. Go check out this one hour, you know, uh, documentary so you can maybe get, because I can't sit here and tell you why you shouldn't probably be following him. But, you know, look, because someone needs to go over how we got here with Alex Jones and all the things that we just talked about. And that's why I said to you, I, talk, I contacted you and said, we got to do the show. I just watched Door and Rogan and they completely didn't handle this topic right. So the two guys that, and I always want to say this, the two guys that I admire the most probably in what we want to do or we're trying to do are Door and Rogan. Those are my guys that I'm like, wow, if we could do it like that. But when they completely fail in a, at an attempt to, to understand what's going on with Alex Jones, I'm like, that's why we're doing the show, Curtis. We got to do it. And you're like, all right, we'll, we'll do it. So I would say to you, I wish there was like a, an hour or three hour documentary on what, what's going on with Alex Jones and why it's so terrible what he's doing, why it's so dangerous, and then go with that. As far as free speech, I understand there's going to be two sides, right? So yeah, the, the companies want to be positive, and we've also, we've also talked together about how we know that the Facebook algorithms shit out, and YouTube you know, demonetizes people. So it's a good, bad thing. You almost always know that corporations are going to bastardize whatever goodness is – um, about their technology. Someone's going to buy it out and just fucking destroy it. So that's always, you know, you're running this, um, you're running this uh, constant head of the wave. How are they going to grab this technology and destroy it so that we can't use it for good? Um, and the last thing I would say to you is the problem is with an Alex Jones um, and I'm going to, or Glenn Beck or a Ben Shapiro is from our side there is, and I know this is has no interest to you because that's not the kind of show you want to do. But I'm saying to you, in our movement, there is nobody, and we have like Kyle Kaczynski, I guess. We have a couple of like sort of legit guys out there that you know. At one time, we're doing good work. Uh, mm. Close friends of you are uh, we're doing good fr- work and <laughs> had some had some issues. But um, mm. there's not a, there's not enough. I, I truly believe that, you know, because I, when I look for something, I end up watching Rogan, which is like sometimes like this episode was so stupid. Mm-hmm. I spent, you know, three hours watching a really dumb episode on Alex Jones with a guy that I totally admire, which was with Jimmy Dore. And Jimmy Dore went over his usual like talking points that he always hammers. And I think that was like, like at some point, Joe Rogan was like, OK, we've been down this road a thousand times. You know, like, well, we can listen to it like a, like a, 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 a uh, there's, there's no cut. reason. Okay. There's no re- I mean, it's up to you. I mean, if you want to, for your, uh, cause I, cause I'll rip it apart. But, but, but again, if you, I was going to say, if you want to go further, where we're going is, is we have nobody, I believe, in our movement that doesn't, it's more that you, people don't punch other, uh, uh, figuratively punch back, punch people in the mouth. It, it, it's it's kind of like the thing, um, you know, First of all, Trump was on um, Alex Jones's broadcast during the 2015 right. campaign. Right, I I I, I, I did so, recall that after I checked it out. I go, oh yeah, I do remember that. And yeah, uh, yeah, because I was like, was he on there? And you're right. That guy, Trump, is no fucking dummy. I don't care what anybody says. He 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 wants to bring. He brought in every fucking. I have to be so careful. No, he's smart. He I mean, you look at some of the old videos on on YouTube. The- he's like on Phil Donahue talking about real estate and uh, the audience is against him and and Phil Donahue's against him and uh, you see him turn the crowd around and get applause. He's 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 very shrewd. But I'm saying so he you know he uh, I was going to say he gets he got every fucking available nut job to get out there and vote for him. So he went to Alex Jones Knows there's. He, uh, we had a president of the United States who said, I could go out and shoot somebody in the middle of the street and people would still vote for me tomorrow. Right. I mean, if that isn't close to it. Yeah, it, and it's, ac- it's, it's, it's fairly it's, accurate. No, it's just. He's being totally honest. The mistake was not him saying it because it's true. The mistake was from sort of his self interest or even preservation was that, oops, I. I didn't intend to speak the truth, right? You know, in his mind, he might have been like, um, oh, yeah, I said that out loud. But it wasn't a mistake from the standpoint of, well, no, that was inaccurate. And that's what people get wrong about Trump. He doesn't say things that he doesn't, you know, believe. He speaks a truth and sometimes regrets saying them with the audience who received it because they took it the wrong way and it might have hurt him. But he, he, again, I was looking at something with him and Phil Donahue, and he was just like, 
you, you could see this guy can can transform people. But just really briefly, I don't think the 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 the, the big the big problem is that we don't have somebody sort of on our side. Um, I, I think the problem is, I really think the big problem is that that there are sides. And I don't mean that in a rainbow coalition sort of way. What I mean by that is that regardless of Alex Jones and we have some superhero on our side or whatever, the problem is that these people exist in a vacuum. Uh, I don't, you know, the, 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 I don't listen to Alex Jones. I don't listen to uh, 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 what's his face, Ben. I know Shapiro. them um, and uh, um, and all these, but uh, it's it's the fact that only that's the problem. The fact that only people already in that fringe here, and so that's where the cancer grows because. You only hear that. So if I take a little bit of Glenn Beck, okay, if, who, who cares? But I, I never hear anything else. So I, I get so consumed by that single – think how dangerous this is. It, I'm not exaggerating. This is how – Hitler rises. I'm not calling Trump Hitler. I'm not calling. But I always what I'm say saying that, is, but it's, I'm willing to say I'm willing to say that as but he, clearly as. But I'm saying talking, but. It's, yeah. I'm just saying it's not it, it's not even about Trump. It's about human nature. The only way a Hitler rises is because it's all you hear, and it goes in sort of into the indoctrination as a child. You're a child of politics, or you're a child of knowledge. You're a child of not knowing something. If somebody comes in into that vacuum and and whispers in your ear, just like that book whispered in a teenage Alex Jones's ear, that's all that child hears, regardless of your age. You're a child of that, and then you run with it. And so we can have the biggest superhero on our side, but we have to remember that very clear point. The people already on your side are only hearing that superhero and getting even more further indoctrinated, if you will. Hey, you're breaking up a little bit over there. I don't know what you're doing. Um, by those voices. You're, you're breaking up. That, no, you're that, back. That's probably your connection, though. Um, How dare you? Yeah. Well, it's a time to break you up. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe it's my headset. I don't know. Um, but uh, my problem is, I know you have this stance, but again, these people do move people, and we need to have as many people on our whatever you call our side because uh, that's when we get we we agree to disagree and that's the beauty of uh, that we disagree on some of yeah. this stuff you can't be agreeing all the time i really believe we we need more people punching back i believe door said it on rogan's show well i don't dis- like, i don't disagree with that at all door, uh, door said it on, on it's not show. enough i'm though. like the only guy doing what i do mm-hmm. basically what he said i'm the only guy doing what i do he goes i'm a jack-off comedian doing the right thing I'm doing journalist's job. I'm doing, you know, what you consider the, what the left should be doing. I'm doing it. Nobody else is not doing it. Bill Maher's not doing it. The regular press isn't doing it. He's like, there's a couple, and then there's me. And he's like, but I'm, all right, I'm fine with that. You know, I'm, I'm good with that. And I, that's true. And yet, this topic, he couldn't handle. He couldn't handle this topic. So again, we do need everybody punching back who can punch back. And that's, I've always wanted to do shows like this in order to punch back, figuratively punch back. So when a guy like Ben Shapiro says what he says, and I know you probably didn't listen to the clip I sent you to, sent you, somebody needs to punch back. It needs to be a bigger story or somebody from our side needs to be like, you fucking really. I honestly, I honestly don't think I got this clip. Did I did I respond after you sent it to me? How dare you? Yeah, Chris? I don't I don't remember a clip, and I if I ignored it, I I mean I wouldn't have done it. All right, so uh, yeah. he he did something on his show, and then he put something on on Twitter, and you have to watch it, Curtis, to in order to um, because I think it's in it's in uh, it's sexist for sure. Um, it's oh, I remember now. I did respond. Did see it. Yeah, you well, I, play it. But, well, but, I, I it, didn't. I didn't watch the whole thing. Was what I said was, I I I can't listen to him after thirty seconds. He his, his 
His tone I is mean, so distracting. Yeah, so yeah. he's so white. Like, you know, uh, I can't. Yeah, remember. but and he's just so it it it, it just reminds me of every seriously, geek. Seriously, you know, no, I mean, um, she's very she's very dumb. Too, she's but. a dumb. She's dumb as a light bulb. She she's a dim, she's a dim as a light bulb in the box. And I I, cha- I challenge her. I it, challenge her for a debate. And again, I w- I welcome content. I, I welcome different voices. I just can't him specifically. I I can't listen to him. He's so jarring and. Uh, I, in his manner okay, and everything but, else. So let's just be clear. Ben Shapiro, who's another syndicated guy like Alex Jones, got on and said that um, I, I want to get her name right because I have assume she's the new target because they're so afraid of her. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez right. is dumb, is stupid, is silly, is ridiculous. I want to debate her. They throw her these softball questions. What's your lipstick? Who did your hair today? Okay, here it is. Yeah, um, keep, yeah. Go I'm, gonna, I'm about to become unhinged. Ben Shapiro Binge. challenges. Right here it is. Let me find it. Um, challenges. Here we go. Um, oops, where's the video? Do 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 do. Daily Wire. Okay, and since you're such a fan, let's uh, play a little bit. Ambition unchecked by con- The corollary of that is the Democrats, because they are so jazzed up, could move radically Never. to the left. And that means that their future oh, is Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. Oh, now, yesterday oh, I said that Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez is not the brightest bulb in the basket. And I stand by that statement because she is not, in fact, the brightest bulb in the basket. Because she was on Pod Save America yesterday and she made a series of ridiculous, silly statements. She, again, is considered the future of the Democratic Party because she's an intersectional candidate. She is. She's a, a person of, of great intersectional capacity. She's a woman, and she is his, she's Latina, and that means that she has valuable things to say, even if she is just saying random stuff all the time that doesn't make any sense. Well, yesterday on Pod Save America, she was asked a series of kiss-ass questions, and she proceeded to immediately blow them sky high because she can't even answer those questions properly. By the way, you know, there, I, I've received a lot of emails. Would I debate Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez? I would pay money to Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez's campaign to debate Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. I would pay her money to come on the Sunday special. I would give money to her campaign if it meant that she would actually come on the Sunday special and answer some serious questions from somebody on the other side of the aisle. But there's a reason that she's only existing in the safe space of Pod Save America, where they're just going to ask her questions like, Alexandra, where do you get that lipstick? Alexandra, how do you do your hair in the mornings? Alexandra, can you talk to us about how Republicans are mean and cruel? Yeah, it's really funny. This morning, She tweeted out, because there's a lot of blowback after her various interviews, she tweeted out a a bunch of uh, a a bunch of things about how she how the reason people are coming after her is because they're trying to distract from this burgeoning Republican scandal. There's a Republican representative who's now been arrested for some sort of bank fraud. Uh, He's a big early backer of, of President Trump's. And she says, the reason people are coming after me is specifically because they are trying to distract. She says, whenever the right is being particularly feisty towards me, the first thing I do is check to see which bad news of theirs they're trying to distract from. Lo and behold, and then she says, Representative Chris Collins of New York, Trump's earliest congressional backer, was arrested by the FBI on securities fraud related charges. Well, no, the reason that we focus on Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez is because the media have fallen in love with a lady who won 17,000 votes in a Democratic primary in New York. And we're all supposed to believe that she's the wave of the future. That's why we're paying attention. Also, because it's a lot of fun to pay attention to the dumb stuff she says, because if this is the future of the Democratic Party, the future is stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 I, I can't, I, I can't, um. Yeah, the yeah, future Yeah, the future, the future, is it. Uh, so I just can't, I physically can't, uh, listen to more of, of, of that than 30 seconds. And he drives but, me up the wall. Um. But it's, it's old, it's old school, right? It's, it's the way that they always, they keep it, keep it sexy. Li- lipstick and, and hair. And, you know, come on. I mean. It's a cartoon. It's so over the top.